Tonight, 7.30 can reveal explosive new cases of Australian companies involved in suspected foreign corruption and bribery. The allegations extend as high as the presidents of Sri Lanka and the Republic of Congo. Already this year, we've heard allegations that the gaming giant Tabcorp and the offshore arm of Leighton Holdings paid bribes to relatives and intermediaries connected to foreign politicians. The Turnbull government's beefed up the federal police's anti-corruption teams and flagged new laws to allow companies to avoid prosecution if they admit corruption and aid police. But even so, there are questions about whether that's enough. Nick McKenzie has this special investigation. Snowy Mountain Engineering Company, also known as SMEC, is now privatised, has grown into a major international engineering firm. In 2008, SMEC sought to win part of a large dam project in Sri Lanka, funded by the World Bank. Well, Sri Lanka, I think, uh, has, a, has always had a reputation for what might be described as petty corruption, but the real risks, the most serious risks, are corruption at a top bureaucratic level where monies are paid by companies and often overseas companies to secure very valuable contracts. Again, there was one person's support needed to make it happen. The Minister for Agriculture, Mathrapala Sirisena, who is now Sri Lanka's president. 2009 emails between SNEC staff leaked to 7.30 suggest Sirisena requested a private meeting with the company. He's the secretary of the ruling party, a powerful man in the present administration. The SMEC manager said that the powerful man wanted a favour. The minister wants to know whether SMEC could make a donation for the elections. The SMEC email suggested Sirisena and one of his advisers wanted the Australian company to bankroll Sirisena's ruling Freedom Party before signing the cabinet papers for the World Bank funded dam project. Sirisena's coordinating secretary said this is the way it goes prior to signing the cabinet papers. He wants us to propose an amount or percentage on the contract value. The president did not respond to questions from 7.30, including whether he was aware of or authorised such a request. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious that if an Australian company goes into a foreign jurisdiction, and there's a suggestion made that they could make a political donation when they're on the lookout for a very valuable contract, well, anyone would know that that's most likely to be corruption at that very high level. SMEC's email showed that the company's Sri Lankan manager agreed to pay a kickback of $27,000 to secure the dam contract. SMEC says its internal investigation uncovered a request for a political donation, but that no donation was made. Company records show that $27,000 was withdrawn in cash by SMEC Sri Lankan office and paid to a consultant. The Australian Federal Police is evaluating emails about SMEC and the Sri Lankan president. Separately, the AFP has launched a major investigation to allegations that SMEC's overseas staff paid bribes to secure a second Sri Lankan contract, as well as a contract in Bangladesh. For the Australian Federal Police, suspected foreign bribery is tough to investigate and even harder to prosecute. But after repeated scandals and an extra 15 million from the Federal Government,